The most important thing to understand about electrical engineering for non-electrical engineers in construction is capacity. So we've gotten a ton of questions from like mechanical engineers and architects and people that want to learn electrical engineering. They're asking if our boot camp's a good program for them because they want to know, you know, the basics of electrical to help them do their job. So, you know, the first thing that I would say, like in a one video response to you, what to know about electrical engineering is capacity, right? And there's two types of capacity when we're talking about electrical engineering. There's electrical capacity. So this is usually measured in terms of amperage. And then there's physical capacity. Like where can we actually put the circuits and where can we actually serve this from? So to give you an example, let's talk about electric vehicles because this is like, you know, all the rage right now. People want to put a bunch of electric vehicles at their existing facility. So the most important thing is capacity, right? Because these electric vehicles, if you're talking about like level two chargers, they're probably like 10 kW kilowatts, right? Which we can convert to amperage, but we're not going to go that far in this video. I'm just saying so 10 kW per charger, right? And you want to add 10 of them. So that's 100 kW. That's your electrical capacity. So we need to know if the electrical service on the site has enough electrical capacity to add 10, 10 kW chargers or 100 kW added to it. Is the service transformer rated for that? Is the service equipment rated for that? Do you have downstream distribution panels that are close enough that can feed that new amount of power? And so that brings us into physical capacity, right? So what if your main service panel can easily take 100 kW of new load? Like electrically, it's fine. You know, it's rated for that much amperage, but physically there's no spaces to add new circuits. There's no places where you can put new circuit breakers for these electrical circuits. So, I mean, there's that's an easier one to um, sort out as an electrical engineer. You know, you can refeed certain things, add new panels and sort of consolidate. When you're talking about electrical capacity, that's the hard one where it's like, you know, you want to add 100 kW to this site, but, you know, when you coordinated a new electrical service to the building, we were never planning on EVs. We never were going to have that. So nothing's designed for that. So you're going to have to have a full service upgrade. So, you know, those are the biggest questions to be thinking of, you know, if you want to do right by your electrical engineer or think like an electrical engineer. The first, you know, first thing I'm thinking about when I'm starting a new project is capacity, electrically and physically.